So you're looking to find ways to find subcontractors for your hardscape business. Well, I'm going to share with you my eight ways that I've found subcontractors in my hardscape business and how I have just a Rolodex that I can utilize within my business. I'm going to start with number eight and then I'm going to work my way down to number one, my most effective method that has gotten me my best subcontractors. So stick with me. It's going to be worth it. Starting right with number eight. I highly recommend when your site one or your local supply store hosts events, let's say they have a Unilock event or a Keystone event, any of these hardscape trading shows, you need to be going to these events. When I first started transitioning from mowing lawns to getting into these higher profit margin construction based projects, I went to every event that I possibly could because it put me in the environment with people that were doing these projects. And I was able to meet contractors in my area that were doing the things I wanted to do. And so that's, that's number eight is go to these hardscape training events. You can go to your local site one, your local landscape supply store, ask them to put you on the email list when they, when they have these training events and let you know about them. And then while you're at these hardscape stores, your target market, everybody that you're looking for as far as a contractor is going to be in those areas. So number seven is look at your supply stores. If you're at site one and you see somebody that's there, don't be shy, go up to them, pass the business card over to them. Even though you guys are in the same industry, you guys can help each other out. There's no scarcity. So, <coughs> you know, go up to Philip and say, Hey Philip, how's it going? My name's Caleb. I do patios, retaining walls, lighting, always looking for somebody that can help me out. What services do you provide? And you can also go up to the people at the counter and say, Hey Sarah, how's your day going? Be very nice with all the people that work at these supply stores because they're going to be able to help you out with returns and whatnot. But then they're also going to be able to help you get contractors. So you can go up to them and say, Hey, look, I just sold this patio. You didn't even, you don't even have to sell it yet, but just say, Hey, I just sold this patio and I need somebody to build it for me. Do you have anybody that you can think of that's really good at doing the projects, but not good at running the business and needs leads and they'll give you somebody. So just keep pushing into the universe. And how I found my first employee, the first guy I hired, I hired employees, I had four employees and then I let them all go, but I found him through Facebook groups. So this brings me to number six, post in Facebook groups, post on Facebook and say, Hey, I'm looking for somebody that can build paper patios, looking for somebody that can build retaining walls, go into the Facebook groups, your local Facebook group, go into the jobs and just make a post. You'll have seven to 20 people that comment on that drop your number, have them call you, utilize Facebook groups to your advantage when you're finding subcontractors. Also, when you're driving around your town and uh, you know, you're driving around your town or let's say you're going for a walk, you're going for a walk with your mom after dinner, right? And all of a sudden there's some guy and he's throwing shingles off the roof with a white truck. Go up to this guy and say, Hey, my name's Caleb James. You know, what's your name? Ask him for his name, ask him what services he provides and then, you know, get his number. And this is, this leads me to number five is find people on job sites and give them your number or ask for their business card. You can't be shy. You just have to go right up to them. The other day I was at my mom's house and there was a guy pouring a concrete driveway just across the street. I went right up to him. I said, Hey, my name's Caleb James. What's your name? And he told me his name. I was like, do you have a business card? I'm always looking for somebody that can pour concrete and do it good. And he's like, yeah, absolutely. He ran his truck, gave me his card and boom, right then and there. That's another subcontractor that I have in my Rolodex. Also what you guys can be doing is I know most of you probably have a general contractor in your family, or you know, somebody that's a general contractor, or you know, somebody that's handy or builds decks or any of these guys. If you know somebody like that, that leads me to number four, get referrals from contractors. All these contractors know contractors who know contractors who know contractors. So if you have somebody like that in your family, ask them if you can take them to coffee or something. If you just shoot them, a shoot them a text, most of the time they're not going to get back with you. But if you can say, Hey, let's meet for coffee. I want to talk about, uh, talk about business. I want to see what you do, see how I can help you out. You know, I'm starting this new landscape stuff. I'm getting into bigger projects and just sit, sit down with them. It's a good time to grab coffee and catch up. But then let, and then right then and there, you can say, Hey, do you have anybody that is concrete? Okay, perfect. Let me get their number, you know, and you can exchange numbers right there. So number four is reach out to contractors and get referrals from contractors. Now, when you're driving around your town and you pull up to a stoplight 
and you see a truck or a yard sign that says, Jose, concrete, masonry, pull the phone out as fast as possible, zoom in and snag a photo. You don't know how many times I've been driving down the street and I'm like, whoa, 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 stop. And I grab my phone out, I zoom in, snag a photo, I like, I favorite the photo and then put it in a separate album in my phone that's titled business cards and subcontractors. Because every single time I take a picture of a business card, every time I get a business card, I take a picture of it. And then I favorite it and then put it in this album because I'm gonna lose it. And if also if it's in that album, it's nice and organized and then I can take all that information and upload that into my CRM and now I have a big Rolodex of contractors that I can utilize. So that's number three, is car decals and yard signs. Every time you see a car decal or a yard sign, whip the phone out, take a photo of it. Great way to find good contractors. Now, recently I was looking for an HVAC guy to move an air conditioning unit so we could pour stamp concrete. And what I did is I went on Google and I made a search HVAC guys and boom, sent me out this massive list of guys that I could call. And so that leads me to number two, make a Google search. If you're looking for somebody specific, somebody, you can make a Google search and start calling on these, these companies. Don't go for the big dogs. Don't go for the big corporations that have tons of employees and they're all logoed out. Go for the smaller guys that are consumed in the business, that aren't the best at running the business, but are really good at doing the work. You know, preferably you're going for an owner operator, somebody that's an owner of a business, but has been doing the stuff for like 30, 40 years and is just unbelievable at it. That is your target market for our subcontractor. So that's number two is a Google search. Now last, certainly not least, this is how I got my subcontractor that I utilize for 70% of my projects. Unbelievable with pavers, unbelievable with retaining walls. Anything I need, he can build it. Super responsible. And I got him by posting on social media. John Maxwell talks about law of the lid. And that is when a leader has, a leader is the lid of the business, right? And if a leader stops improving himself and stops going after new things and iterating, his lid stops. And then what happens is the people underneath him, they hit this lid and they're like, oh my gosh, I can't go anymore. And so what they do is they shift over to the next leader that's lids a little bit higher. And so what happened is this subcontractor saw that I was posting on social media, saw that I was marketing my business with new strategies and the guy that he was working for wasn't. And so boom, he reached out to me. We built the relationship. We started a project. The first project we ever did together, I made 3000 profit in two days and I was sold. And I, I've been doing subcontracting ever since. So. My biggest tip for you guys is to be posting on social media, utilizing social media to your benefit. Go on job sites and do walkthrough videos saying, hey, my name's Caleb James with Fine Lines Landscape. We're wrapping up this you know, concrete patio. We just made all these new plants. They just all got installed. Look at this lighting system. Go on there and pitch your services, pitch your brand, tell everybody what you do, where you're from and what your number is and watch what that does not only for leads, uh, not only for follow-ups and selling jobs, but also for getting contractors. So there's my eight tips on finding subcontractors for your hardscape, construction business, really any subcontracting business. I believe that those eight things are gonna work well for you. Now, with this being said, if you don't have jobs, you shouldn't even be worrying about subcontractors in the first place. Getting jobs is the very most important thing and you can get a project and then just tell the customer, hey, you know, my, my company's booked out a month or hey, the, the product's on order for a month and then you can find a sub. So the most important thing is to get the leads and if you're struggling with leads, I just created a 20 minute video with my whole marketing strategy that I suggest you checking out. I'm gonna have the link down in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like, comment down below which one you think is gonna work best or which ones that you've tried. And then last but not least, I have a free community that's on school. I'm gonna link that down below as well. God bless, we'll see you next time.